All right, this is a key to the worksheet on graphing uh, linear equations. Notice, though, these are kind of special kinds, except one and two. Um, you notice that one and, one and two are uh, horizontal and vertical lines, and whereas number three is not. So you got to remember how to graph these horizontal and vertical lines and how to think about graphing those. I want you to remember, though, you must follow directions. There's a purpose to why I'm asking you to do things certain ways. So notice it says plot at least three points of the line and I need for you to indicate the coordinates. For the first one, the same thing for the second one. For number three, it says graph this by um, plotting the x and y intercepts. So I need to see x and y intercepts and I need for you to indicate the coordinates of each intercept on the graph. And notice it says coordinates. Okay, indicate the coordinates. So um, if you looked at those lessons, you would, you would have understood what I meant there. So let's look at number one. So number one, the way you want to think about number one, and, and I'll go ahead and, and um, do these on a separate sheet of paper just to kind of explain this. So number one, we have y equals a negative five. Now remember when we discussed that in the lessons, what this means is that y is always going to equal negative five. See, there's no x, right? So y always equals negative five. So what that means is that if I were to use a t-table, that means that y will always equal negative 5 all the way down. y is always going to be negative 5 no matter what x is. y will always be negative 5. And so basically, so, so the, these are solutions to that equation right here. y always equals negative 5 and that's what this, this right here indicates no matter what x is. So if I were to plot those points on the number line, I want to show you what you're going to get. So here's Here's the graph for number one. So you have zero, negative five. Zero, negative five is here. Oops, sorry, right here. Zero, negative five, right here. You have two, negative five, which is right here. You have negative two, negative five. Notice it says three, so I'm just gonna do three. Two, negative five is right here. Now notice though, and that's important, you, I want you to indicate the coordinates. So I want you to, to see that when you put the coordinates in here, 2, negative 5, 0, negative 5, and negative 2, negative 5. The whole purpose of that, of you putting that in, was for you to notice that all these y coordinates are negative 5. And that is what this indicates. So y equals negative 5, when you graph the line, you'll notice is a horizontal line. So whenever you have y equals a constant, y equals a number, no, no x in there, you're going to get a horizontal line. So then when we did number two, you'll, you'll remember that when we did number two, and let's go ahead and do number two here, you have x minus three equals zero. And so when you graph that line, first of all, you had to get x by itself. There's no y. Notice there's no y. But when I get x by itself, I get x equals three. So notice there's no y coordinate. I'm sorry, no y variable. It's here. There was a y variable with no x. Here there's an x, but no y. So using that same idea, when when you read this, when you read this, that's, that's a y right here. When you read this, this says that x is always going to equal 3. x will always equal 3. Always. x always equals 3, no matter what y is. So when I plot those points, on the line, on, on in the coordinate plane, I have three zero. Uh, let's do that here. So I have three zero, which is here. So label the point three zero. I have two negative five. I'm sorry, wrong one. I have three two, which is here. And I have three four, which is, um, which is here. And notice what you know is that all these x coordinates are threes, and that's what this this um, this indicates x has to be 3. And so when you graph it, you're going to get this, this um, vertical line. Okay, so that's what you're going to get, this vertical line. All right, so that's number two. Now, when doing number three, it was important to read how I wanted you to do this. I wanted you to do this by finding the x and y intercepts. So here's what you had to do. So number three, you have 2x minus 5y equal 10. 
and you knew and, and I want you to find the the x and y intercepts. So so remember to find the x intercept. Remember the x intercept is where the graph crosses the x intercept is where the graph crosses the x axis. And so whenever the graph crosses the x axis, the y coordinate is 0. So so when I let y equal 0, so it's just my view putting y in uh, 0 in place of y. So at y equals 0, I get 2x minus 5 times 0 equals 10. 5 times 0 is 0, so I get 2x equals 10. Divide both sides by 2. I get the x-intercept to be 5. So the x-intercept is 5. Now when you do that, notice it says this. Indicate the coordinates of each intercept on the graph. So you had to. You had to, based on the directions, you had to say, here's the x-intercept, and that has coordinates uh, 5, comma, 0. All right, you had to say 5, 0. Okay, so the next one is to find the y-intercept. Find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, you're going to let x equal 0 this time. Because no matter where you are on that, on that y-axis, the x-coordinate is always going to be 0. So you let, let x be 0. So when I let x be 0, I get 2 times 0, minus 5y equals 10. And then 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 5y is a negative 5y equals 10. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5 to get uh, y by itself. So, so negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. 1 times y is y. So my y intercept is going to be 10 divided by negative 5 is a negative 2. So there's your y intercept. So the graph is going to cross the... Um, y axis at negative 2. The direction said indicate the coordinates. So you had to say um, 0, negative 2. And so that's all you did. That's all I want you to do. Um, so you, 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 you did the directions. Number 1, you found the x-intercept, you found the y-intercept, you found the x-intercept, you found the y-intercept. Now you're going to draw your line. And that is all it is. All right. So there's the graph of this particular line. Alright, so that is the key to um, this worksheet.